Hey guys, Aaron from ADH Gaming here, hope you're having a great day. I'm back with another Super Nintendo ROM hack, and today I'm going to be checking out 8-Bit Mario World. Now this is a work in progress, only the first world is playable, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. I am also playing this on the Super Nintendo Classic, so let's get this started. Okay, slightly different, let's get a game started then. So I'm kind of interested on the world map. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting there, but anyway. So it definitely looks like the original 8-bit Mario Brothers. The controls though, obviously because this is in Super Mario World, it definitely takes a bit of getting used to the different physics here. So uh, there's a few coin blocks. Let's grab the mushroom coin. A few tricky jumps around here too, so I might just go across the top here. Now, from what I understand, you can complete it within 10 minutes. So uh, hopefully that's going to be the case here. Let's just take out Hammer Brother. And we need to aim up to that pipe then. Let's head down. Okay, so we're in the underground section. So let's watch out for the piranhas. Yeah, jumping off the Goombas is slightly different. But it's all good. So, uh, okay, we've got an invisible block up here. Run under the piranhas. Nice. Just time this right. Excellent. I kind of like the fact, actually, it does feel like the original Mario Brothers besides the physics. Uh, and I wouldn't really think that this is playing inside a Mario world here uh, which is always a good thing for a hack anyway so we've got our first power up here we've got another coin over on the right let's grab that okay then so time this right excellent let's get up top now, from what I also understand is there is no checkpoints for this either. So, I need to be very careful that I don't lose my life. Otherwise, I will be going straight back to the beginner level. So far, so good. Let's grab a few coins. I was kind of expecting a fire power up to appear, but not just yet. It kind of is a bit of a remix of Super Mario Brothers, from what I've seen so far anyway. That was good timing, so uh, we're still alive for the time being anyway. Wait for them to turn around. Excellent. Need a bit of a better jump up there. Oh, okay, so we're already on to the boss part of the level, so uh, just time this right. Well, I'm assuming it's a boss level. You hear that music. I would expect Bowser to be here at some point. That was very close. Just drop down. Okay, I think I'm going to lose a power up here. Not quite sure how I was going to get past that otherwise. Okay, so we've got Bowser here. I'm going to just have to jump over him, I guess, without that fire power up. So, <laughs> that was close. So what? That that must be it. Oh no, we've still got more. Well, I've got the time. I might as well just go and grab those coins. Hopefully, I can pick up an extra life. I must be uh, nearing the 100 coins here. Oh wow, okay, so we're still down here, so hopefully, yeah, we got another power up, excellent. Let's just wait for that Cooper to turn around. Now, I would also assume, being Super Mario World, that you can carry across items or power ups, I should say, uh, which I don't have any reserve for the minute, but hopefully I come across something else and give it a go. 
Kind of looks like the original Mario Brothers section here. And again, I am assuming that you can run across the top of the level. Uh, but I'll stick down below for the time being. There we go. Yeah, so our mushroom's gone up into the reserve. Quite a lot of rooms just filled with coins here. Okay, so we're back outside and the flag post must be around here. There we go. Excellent. And then strangely it changes to the water theme, but uh, I won't question that at all. Oh, okay then, so do we get to replay the level? Yeah, it kind of looks it. It looks like it's stuck on an infinite loop here. But of course you can carry across your power-up, so I guess the second time you're playing through this, you're going to get through it a lot quicker. I might actually just give it a go and see how far I can get here. Overall, I did enjoy this ROM hack. It's pretty small. Hopefully in the future there will be an upgrade to it. Uh, maybe an update of new levels, for example. It definitely feels different playing the 8-bit Mario inside of Mario World's engine. Now, if you do want to try this ROM hack for yourself, I did put a link down in the video description to just download that, and you'll need to patch the ROM. If you want to run this on the Super Nintendo Mini as well, there is a video, hopefully you're going to see in a second, popping up, so that will tell you how to actually patch the ROM. If you did enjoy the video, maybe give it a thumbs up. Definitely want to hear some of your comments if you enjoyed the video, and if you are new to the channel, it would be amazing if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.